Hello and welcome back to this new episode. So previously we did list all the commands associated with our product. So with each specific product, we will have his own specific um, commands. And also we did integrate the option that the last command inserted will be displayed at the bottom. So for now, hello. Okay, let's type whatever command, hello. This is not a good product, for example. And when we do submit, the way we set up our code is to insert this new command then fetch from the database. In that way, we guarantee that each command inserted will be automatically and immediately displayed into the front page or in the list of commands. Today's video will be focusing on improving a bit the style and UI version of command because this is not really beautiful for an end user to look for. So first of all, I would like to get more info about this current selected product and its content, right? So we need, first of all, to know who did type that command, right? Because here we only displaying the command. We don't know who did that. We need to display a little name side of the command. So to do that, there is two ways. Okay, the way number one is keep going with the old SQL version of uh, PrestaShop DB instance and type ourselves this query select all from in the join etc etc. And also there is another way which is the 1.7 version using the Symfony DB query builder. And this is what I would like to introduce to you that will really make things more simple, readable and easy to manipulate. So I will start by doing SQL right here and I will do new DB query let me just make this bigger. And the first thing is to select, define how we will select the object or how much we will select. So we do select all star, then semicolon, then dollar SQL again from, from where we will select. So first of all, I would like to select from product. I would like really to copy the name to avoid any trouble. Product command, this one. And this is actually one of the good features on this db query builder i'd like to call it builder always because you don't have to use this ugly prefix and pay attention to colon semicolon and all this uh these like uh, special things that i'm really not big fan of and right here i would like to define the alias for this product command hopefully this was clear then the sql next we'll do inner join because we would like to get also data from the customer table that's containing the user IDs, etc. So I'd like to show you the PHP MyAdmin and the customer table. This is it. So it contains the ID customer, all the information about the customer, etc., etc. And we'd like to really to update this explicitly to set it to my name that you can we can see details later on the front page. Let's go back to our code and the inner join will be with a table called customer. And we also would like to define alias to avoid typing customer again. And the next thing, we could define the statement or the condition. So I will do on, as you may see there. So on, on the condition will be PC dot user underscore ID, which is this. OK, make this bigger user ID. This one equal to the C dot ID customer which is, let me just move back to PHP Madmin, which is this column right there. Great for this line, we could move on now. So we do SQL now, where the product ID of this command must be equal to the current ID. So we do where PC product command dot product underscore ID must equal to int get value ID product. Now don't forget the semicolon right here. We have an extra parenthesis right there. And there you go. Now I would like to get rid of this section. So we do echo pre for dump db. Again, we'll be back to the db. Get instance. And from there, I will simply call the execute as. As we said in the previous video, this execute as does return an object array or something as is mentioned right here, but the execute only return a boolean, right? So we need execute as, and we will be we will be 
passing sorry the SQL object right okay let's go ahead and test it for the moment of truth let me just refresh the page and I believe I made a mistake somewhere because just taking too long yep so we have syntax error oh yeah there you go so when we work a lot on JavaScript you get impacted everything is okay and we do have a um, big object containing a lot of info, a lot of data, and we could play around. So I'd like to search for my name. So that's me again. And also I'd like to, oh, we don't need really because we could see properly that this is this is great product. Bad also, I believe I typed that command. Oh, it's not there. But now we have more info about this command and we could, uh, we have more possibilities to display so this is the, the other command that I typed like minutes ago hello this is not good but whatever okay now we could move back to our object or to our HTML stuff and simply I will first remove these sections because I don't need them and commands here I would like to pass a DB command the all instance now if I do open this because uh, into another page or another table because I'd like to keep like trace of objects and how to access e these keys I'd like to see how to have the username so if I type Alwi right here it does tell me that it called first name the key is first name so going back here we could have that user displayed beside his command. Also, we could display his email. We could do href and uh, mail to like this one. I'd like really to check it. So email, there you go, refresh. And now on clicking on this one, I can send an email to this dude, for example, asking him uh, about his feeling, about his reviews, the product, etc., etc. Okay, now it's really need to update in terms of UI. This is, will be the purpose of the next episode.